Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, aka Funk Soul Brother. And I am getting ready to load up a few things and head down to Galveston. My buddy Cody Dunn, he has an offshore trip coming up. So I'm going to help him catch some bait. Now, when he was out here catching some bait yesterday, he ran into a few specks. And he also hooked into, I think, one or two gar. So hopefully I'll be able to assist him. Get some footage. Maybe I'll catch a gar. I'm not too sure. I really hope I have enough content to put on a video for you. But obviously I do if you are watching this intro. So thanks for coming back. Don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Tell me what you're using, Cody. Uh, cork, uh, 120 pound liter, ADOC Gamagatsu hook. And the key is uh, just be patient and let them run with it, you know? It, uh, yeah, I let them run. They, ha they have a first run, they'll run about 50 yards or so. So how are you hooking that fish? Yeah, I'm not just hooking through the eyeball. The eyeball? That's, yeah. Um, then they'll, they'll stop, they'll eat a little bit. And they try to position that bait in, in head first where to go down its throat. So then I'll let them do a second run. And then uh, usually they'll stop again. And uh, you'll feel them eating, turning that bait to go down its throat. And that's when I set the hook normally. That's kind of what, that's how I've done it. I've never heard, had anybody show me how to do it. That's just, that's what I do. Oh yeah, look at that. I won't touch it. Mr. Dunn got himself a little gar on here. Dang, look at that. Yep. No, go right here. Let you get one on deck first. Watch these head shakes, man. They got the best head shake in the world. That was one right there. Watch this. Come forward. We're on. <laughs> Unlike Don Kong. Mm -hmm. Just cruising. There it goes. Oh, look at that line go. Cut. So he got up in the shallows. He didn't. He didn't like that. Nope. He didn't like coming to the surface. That's a good one. Let's see a six and a half footer. <laughs> look at that. You're getting ready to get wet. No, it's okay. Got Very hooked. That's Dang. a big one. That's a 70 pounder, probably. Maybe 80. Ain't that cool? That is super cool. <laughs> big, huh? It is big. You know, you guys. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, man. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that's a thick Okay. I got these glasses on, it makes everything look bigger. I keep forgetting about that. I'm to make a, a big eye call on him. Is that the biggest, biggest fish you ever had on there? That, that, that is. That, look at that thing. Yeah. How much do you think it weighs? I don't know. I'll have to get him up here. They always 
I don't know they grow once they get on the dock, it seems like. I think he's 70 or 80 pounds. Probably. Ain't that powerful? Yeah, it is powerful. <laughs> that head shake is just nuts on this thing. There you go, you got him now. Oh. Oh God, Don't do that. <laughs> girth on it. The pictures never show the girth. No. No. Look, see, around, this man. is, that's my hand. Yeah, he's bigger. And he's way bigger than that. Hey, we catch him big around here, bud. <laughs> oh, hang on. Ready? Yep. He's not in the frame yet. Tire, Cody. Tire, Cody. Tire, like Cody. Tire, Cody. <laughs> Got it. Lost him. Well, I'm beginning to like this little bait I just bought. Oh, oh, big one. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a good one. <laughs> Three cast, three, two cast, three fish? Yeah. How is that possible? <laughs> two cast, three fish. Dude, look at this. This is a freaking big red. Woo oh, yeah, he's running now. This is a boar red, I think. Stingray. Nah, that's a red. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's a red. That's a red. That's a good red. Where's your net at? Where's your net at? Hey, I don't need no net. Cody, get her done. Man. I'm not gaining on him. <laughs> I'll get down there. Wow. You got your lippers? This is a, a 32 inch uh, trout. <laughs> nope. Go. Two cast three fish. What the heck going on here? We get hung up in these two lines. Careful. Trying to um, turn them. Want me to pull them in? Trying to turn them. Buddy's trying to block me. Well, you look like he was going that way. <laughs> <laughs> There's a net right over there. Where at? Right over there. We're, we're fine. I'm not going to keep it. If it gets off, it gets off. No, we need to show it. <laughs> this, <laughs> is, this is cinematic stuff I'm going on. I'm right up here. <clears throat> get him, get him, get him, get him. Sunset catch. Pretty red. That's a pretty red. Pretty blues in him. You want to get that too? Both tails. Right over here. Two tails. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He, you have more <laughs> spots than he do. <laughs> <laughs> so where's he at? Somewhere. 27. Oh man, he's 28. 28. Yep, he's 28. Okay. Like 28 and maybe about 28 and a half or a quarter if you lay him straight. Alright, so as you saw, Cody hooked into a few gars. Now, gars have a very solid bone structure jaw, structured mouth, so you really have to set that hook and really perfectly time that placement of that bait and that hook in their mouth. So, a few was lost out there. Now, I went out to assist Cody and catch some bait fish. Now, in my defense, I did catch one. <laughs> There was just way too much action out there. I threw the spoon. I hooked into, I think, maybe one or two small reds. And I even caught a hardhead on a spoon. 
But throwing that spoon, throwing that popping cork, I couldn't, I couldn't set up. And I even felt a guard fight just for a little short while. I got this fight off my, off my bill. Off the bill, just the light oh, off okay. the front. Yeah, there you go. Ooh. What do you think about oh, that? Got off. Did it really? Yep. I didn't let it sit there. And yeah. It just came out. It's all right. How'd that feel? I feel great. <laughs> let's, let's see that look again. How'd it feel? Great. <laughs> Fortunately, the hook came out and I wasn't able to land that fish. But hey, Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate each and every one of you. I know y'all can be doing anything and watching any other channel. So like I said, I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit subscribe and push that bell notification. It will let you know the next time I upload a video. And until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks.